AMD and Global Foundry's wafer supply agreement now non-exclusive, paves way for 7 nanometers side. AMD in a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SCC, revealed that its wafer supply agreement with Global Foundries has been amended. Under the new terms, AMD places orders for wafers from Global Foundries up to 2024, with purchase targets set for each year leading up to 2024. Beyond meeting these targets, AMD is free from all other exclusivity commitments. The agreement was previously amended in January 2019, setting annual purchase targets for 2019, 2020, and 2021, while beginning a decoupling between AMD and Global Foundries. This enabled the company to source 7 nanometers, or smaller, chips, such as CCDs and GPUs, from other foundries, such as TSMC while keeping Global Foundries exclusive for 12 nanometers, or larger, nodes. The updated wafer supply agreement unlocks many possibilities for AMD. For starters, it can finally build a next-generation SIAD, Server I, ODI, on a more efficient node than Global Foundries 12 LP, such as TSMC 7 nanometers. This transition to 7 nanometers will be needed as the next gen Genoa EPIC processor could feature future I.O. standards such as DDR5 memory and PCI Express Gen 5, and the switching fabric for these could be too power hungry on 12 nanometers. Present 4 inches CPU core complex dies, CCDs, of Genoa are expected to be built on TSMC 5 nanometers. 